you're guaranteed to double your coins with this training method. If you want any cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out MuleFactory.com. There's a link in the description. They have the best prices and make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 at checkout for a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in this video, I will show you the easiest way to double your coins on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. This method is so, so simple. It's not sniping. We're literally just bidding on cards, listing them for double and they sell on. It is that simple. So if this video does help you out at all, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe down below to the channel. I'll have loads of coin making techniques coming up this week. So stay tuned for that. But now let's get into this method. So obviously we're going to need to be on the transfer market. You need to set your quality to actually silver common and you just set your max price to 150. That is it. So now you need to go a few pages in. All you need to do is bid 150 coins on some silver non-rare cards. It's literally that simple. As you can see, a lot of people do do this. So you may need to go a few pages and I recommend say we go to like 20 pages. You want your time to be like a bit over a minute and then you will be able to actually bid on all of the cards. This can actually be a lot easier if you do it on the web app. If you want to do some quick bidding, go on the web app. So say here we go, we're on page 20 and all you need to do is go along, find players without bids, but you just bid 150 coins on silver cards and then sell them on it seems like we're far enough through now can we yeah so we see we got a bid there here's a card we'll get a bid there another card so you literally bid on silver cards as many as you physically can obviously your transfer list you can hold 100 cards so you can literally do this with 100 players at once and it doesn't matter who you're bidding on you can literally just any player make sure it's 150 coins you're bidding and then once we've got them, we'll move from there. So as we can see here, Rack, we'll get Bruno. Who we guess we'll get Noali. I would recommend again, probably like page 30. Then you can actually bid on a lot of them because some people are already bidding on certain cards. As you can see, we got our bid on that one because somebody beats us. But it's a lot easier than sniping because all you have to do is go through a few pages and then just bid 150 coins. You can bid 200. However, you're losing less, you're making less profit, obviously, because you're paying 50 more coins per card. So we've bidded on all of these. I've got quite a few. I'll just bid on this for now. We'll go to our transfer list and then I'll be back with you guys when we've got the cards. So heading over to the transfer list now, as you can see out of the cards, we won five of them. I think we won about half of the cards that I did bid on. So now we'll assign these cards and get them listed up. So if you want the easiest way to do it, you literally just list every player for 300 coins. It's that simple. <clears throat> you can literally just go on, list all these places, 300 coins and they'll sell. If you want to make more profit, you want to compare price. So this first card, we picked them up for 150 and we'll just scroll through and see what is minimum buy now. So there's one card for 500 and that is it. All of the other cards are like one, two K. So this guy, we can list them up. I won't go full for a full 500, but we can list them for 450. So again, that's triple our coins before tax. So we got Rack here, picked them up for 150. There's one card for 300. We don't need to scroll any longer. We'll just list them for 300 coins. We've got Bueno. He 10k 600 400 350 again for him we can list him up for 300 coins to sell on so these cards may not sell the first time but if they become in demand for an spc or just lazy buyers who can't be bothered to bid they will buy your cards i've got some sold already on my transfer list the next card lipsky again we'll list him up for 300 coins obviously the worst case you can list them up for 200 or sell them for 250 they will sell eventually and you've, you've paid 150, so you can't sell it for any less than that. Next card, there's a card for 400, there's a card for 300. So again, we'll list him for 300 coins. So again, the easiest and the quickest method, you list every card for 300 coins, they will. So as you can see, I think a card has already sold on. So this cruise I did sell earlier for 300. And again, we got this Vaiho. We list that for 300 coins. He is already sold on. So we've got a few from our listings here. You can see we're going for 450. This card earlier was 300 coins. The others are 300. And you want to fill your whole transfer list with these silver cards. Imagine, so you pick them all up for 150. You can't be bothered to check the price. So you just list every card for 300 coins. After tax, you're making about 120 coins per card. 100 cards on your transfer list. That's 12K. It's not very hard. You literally just bid 150, list for 300. There's no thinking about it. Can't really lose any coins because again, you're bidding the lowest price in the game. Obviously, you can improve the method. You can work out which players sell for what and then actually bid higher. So again, the first card I saw that I'm selling for 450 coins. Imagine if I see him each time I could bid 200 
or I'll only bid on the cards that I know are worth a bit more but it's that simple so i'm gonna go do another round pick up a load of cards and i'll be back with you guys when i list them up and we'll see what sort of deals we can pick up so this time i couldn't be bothered for people to outbid me so i've literally just gone to 50 page 50 and i'm just gonna bid on them here i guess it will make it a lot easier because you can just go in a line and just bid on every card obviously it takes time to get to page 50 but once you're here you can go through and bid on all of them you're uncontested pretty much and maybe you can pick up some better deals i guess you could try a method where some cards that are bidded more might actually sell for a lot but if you want a follow-up on this i can do an in-depth video with a price guide of how much these silver cards are selling for because obviously once you've been doing the method for a while you can work out what players sell for x amount of coins so you know the cards that will actually sell for more than just 300 but at the worst case you sell your cards for 300 before tax you are doubling your coins it's like a 120 coin profit after tax it's easy coins there's little work you don't have to study the market you don't have to snipe players you literally just bid 150 coins and then just list the cards up for 300 so here we see we've got another four cards so we're going to sign these ones and see if they're worth any more than 300 coins so we've got susic compare his price so we'll have a look 3k 10k 500 coins keep going along 400 coins there there's one for 300 next is 400 we could go for a 350 but i'll just list it for 300 coins to make sure he sells on a little bit quicker we got kaplan next okay he's an easy 300 coins don't even have to check him at all next up we've got shankland see we saw a 350 so again we can list him for 300 coins and then our last card here we have o'brien he's looking a bit more promising we've got 750 there's a 350 and again another 300 coins so those cards are listed up now you just gotta play the waiting game wait for them to sell on and then you take your profit and repeat the process so we've got quite a few selling on now as you saw a few of them had sold from earlier these cards are all listed up we'll wait to see which ones sell in the first hour and i'll be back with you guys there so this clip is a bit annoying i accidentally cleared the players that had already sold but you can see about half of the cards sold on and this was about 30 minutes into the time they'd been listed so it's pretty good that half of our cards have already sold and it was just 30 minutes in. But now, jumping back, we are live. Here, you can see that the other half have pretty much sold on. Our last card has 11 minutes left. So 90% of our cards have sold in the first 50 minutes, which I wasn't actually expecting it to be that well. But as you can see, it's a very easy trading. So he sold for 450. And then the rest of the cards are just 300 coins. And then we have our last card here. But it's a super easy trading method. If the support here is good, drop a comment down below. I can go in depth with a playlist. Or you can use tools like Futbin to actually work out which players are better to bid on. But it's a really simple method. Bid 150, list for 300, sell them on and make that money. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video.